I'm Doug McKinley and you're watching Adorama TV. I've been a professional photographer a lot of years now, assigned to cover many of the world's conflict zones. But in recent years, I've turned my hand to travel photography, working for lots of book publishers, magazines, and picture agencies. This morning, we're going to look at a potential great source of images, your local market. And for us, it's Columbia Road Flower Market in East London. Full of great colors, shapes, textures and people, lots of comings and goings. It's a fantastic place for photographers of all levels to improve their skills. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. No matter where you are in the world, markets are a great microcosm of the greater society. In that regard, as photographers, we want to visually capture that as best we can. Moreover, everything's on display for us, just waiting for the click of a shutter. It's early and it's already buzzing. But as a photographer, how do we make sense of this? What shots do we want? What do we focus on? An exercise I've always found useful, especially when I was first learning, is to think of the whole thing as a magazine layout. About five to eight pictures finished, which equates to about two to three hundred shot pictures before editing. It's a way to focus your mind. It gives you a sense of purpose in what you're doing. And I'm pretty sure that in a short space of time, if you follow this method, your images will improve. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest where you could win some amazing prizes. Okay, it's time to get in the mix, but as you can see behind me, it's really busy in there. There's no room for a tripod, no room for a monopod, and definitely no room for a giant rucksack on your back. So today I've pared it down. I'm carrying one camera body and three lenses, housed in my little low pro side pouch here. The body's a 5D, a Canon 5D Mark II, but really any DSLR will work, whether it's Canon or Nikon. I'm using a 50mm 1.4 lens, a 24 1.4 lens, and a 24 to 70 uh, short zoom 2.8 lens. With these three lenses, I'm pretty sure I can cover all my bases in here. Sometimes when entering a market, it's a little bit like information overload. There's so much going on, it's very difficult to know where to point your camera. It happens to me all the time. But one way I've mitigated this problem is by having a stroll through without even taking any pictures. Leave the camera hanging from my side or holding it in my hand. It's a two-fold scenario. First, it allows me to see what's out there, if there's any trouble spots, any difficult lighting positions. Second, it allows people to see me with my camera and determine that I'm not really all that threatening after all. Remember, this kind of street or reportage photography cannot happen unless you engage with people. You've got to lose your inhibitions and talk. Engage, engage, engage. But keep in mind what we're trying to achieve. That is, enough images to fulfill our magazine layout. The next problem or issue is going to be light. Markets are notorious for difficult and mixed light. For instance, here we're at a stall that has an awning over it. It's going to create some problems. It's going to be in shadow. So what it means is we're going to have to up our ISO, open our aperture, and slow our shutter down a little bit. And I'm going to talk to this lady here and get some pictures. So diversity is the key to good pictures. Find different angles, get down low, get your detailed pictures, up close and personal. Look for benches, chairs, anything that gives you a different look. So you've been out shooting for a couple of hours and you're going to need it. By now you should have all your images, your big holding shot, your details and your portraits. What's up now is the edits. Soft edit in the camera to get rid of all those duck pictures you really don't want to keep. Hard edit later in the, in the computer. So by the time you're finished, you'll have a great set of images worthy of any magazine. So until next time, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.